dance around him. Well, good night, my son. Don't go. Wait. Help me. Help you? How? Help me. I'll get it. It's in the library. He really shouldn't drink so much wine. It seems to me he drank very little. If you want to go now, I'll explain. I'll wait. Well, did you enjoy the evening? Yes, it was pleasant. I've come up in the world. Do you remember when I used to come to Mass with hardly a sou for the collection plate? Yes, now it's different. Now you don't come at all. Or well, your disapproval of our marriage so quickly. <laughs> it was obvious. It was your decision. He was very lonely. And she was a dear friend. You can help me with this. You'll know exactly where to find it. Find what? Jeannette gave me this. I poked fun at her. When did I last come to confession? Some months, I would say. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. At least I remember how to begin. Jacques, confession is on Saturday. Why don't you go to bed? Find it for me, please. Find what? Is it in Daniel or Isaiah? The king who saw something on the wall? Really, I must insist. Midnight is no time for this. I am speaking to Father Leon. It's in the book of Daniel. In the same hour, there appeared fingers, as if it were the hand of a man, writing upon the surface of the king's wall. Yes, that is it. Then was the king's countenance changed, and his thoughts troubled him. And the joints of his loins were loosed, and his knees struck one against the other. Then was the king's countenance changed, and his thoughts troubled him. How well you speak the holy words, Father. What was on the wall? The words, many tekel faris. God hath numbered thy kingdom, and thou art found wanting. Uh, what? Thou art weighed in the balance, and art found white. God! Charla, <laughs> God. I can see it still. I can see it on the wall. Enough! Through the picture. Enough! Ernest! Bless me, Father, for I have seen. Madame la Marquise. Ernest, help the Marquis upstairs. shouldn't drink so much wine. Yes, of course. The wine. Good night. Is he all right? Monsieur le Marquis seems to be. Seems to be? I'm sure Monsieur le Marquis will be all right. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Tell me. I've known Monsieur le Marquis since, since he was a little child. But I never saw him like this. <laughs> You've never seen him when he's had too much to drink? Madame la Marquise, it isn't a drink. If he has too much to drink, he is gay. He does all sorts of pleasant things, but he doesn't cry. He seems to be in such despair. He asked for a writing paper. What? Then a moment later, he changed his mind. He said, no, Ernest, it's no use. And then he started talking about... It is probably just the wine that affects him differently this time. What was he talking about? His first wife. 
Et si. If Madame la Marquise would kindly excuse me, I'm very tired. What did he tell you of his first wife? Oh, nothing. That she was a gentle, kindly lady. Well, we all know that, don't we, Ernest? Yes, Madame la Marquise. Forgive me, Madame. I'm so afraid. Afraid of what? I... He has become so melancholy, so... so strange. I fear for his life. I understand. Between us, I have felt the same thing. We must watch him very carefully, Ernest. Good night. Good night, Madame de Marquise. And thank you. When you asked for the writing paper, what were you going to do? Send a message to the police? I can't go on. What am I to do? What am I to do? <laughs> if you only knew how grand you and this great house look to us from the village. What a feeling of power and strength. What am I to do? <sighs> go to sleep, Sherry. Sleep? How can I? Would you like something to make you sleep? I think I would. Well, it's late for the servants. I'll go down to the kitchen and fix you some hot chocolate myself. Yes, do. Charlotte! I want it to work quickly, not like Jeanette. <laughs> you are such a child. Charlotte, I'm here. I came downstairs. I want to drink it down here. As you wish. Drink it all. It will make you feel so much better. I know it will. Charlotte. What? Look at the wall. Oh, the wall again. Look at the wall, Charlotte. Such nonsense. Look! I didn't have enough courage to drink more than a sip. Now, I must find courage enough to face the guillotine, eh, Inspector? What about her? She touched any of this? No. It must have been her heart, the shock. She dropped to the floor like a stone after seeing it. Don't touch it! I had to cover it. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. You couldn't stand what? The Marquis de Roger went to the guillotine, insisting there was an image on this wall. And at his trial, his servants swore under oath that something was on the wall, something that could not be removed. Well, there is something, isn't there? It doesn't look very terrifying. But in the village, there are those who will tell you that on the anniversary of her death, the face of Jeanette sometimes reappears. True or false? Jeanette died on the 12th of April. Now, if some April 12th, you happen to be in the vicinity, why not call the local estate agent? He'll escort you up the hill, and you can see for yourself. In a moment, something about next week. When a dominating personality lives in a house for a long time, he seems to leave an indelible 
and sometimes evil imprint in the very atmosphere of the place. If you're inclined to doubt this, be with us next week and see what happens to the captain's guest.